It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Blair Family. Phil, Phil Sr., Mary Jo, Jeff, and Mike, ready for action. And the Sambar Family. Chuck, Mary, Shaddy, Al, and Todd. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. From Madison, there to the champ, it's the Blair. Doing quite well. Uh, how much money have we won, Phil? Thirteen thousand nine hundred thirteen dollars. I like the way you're doing it. Thank you. Go all the way. Here. Let's meet everybody, please. To my right, we have my father, Phil. Big Phil. Hi, and Richard. my mother, Mary Jo. Pretty Mary Jo. Hi, Richard. My brother, Jeff. He's Hi, getting Richard. taller by the moment. And last but certainly not least, little Mike. With a revolving jacket. <laughs> Hi there, Mike. <laughs> I'm not sure whether Mike was a pessimist about this trip or not when we brought you in. Uh, you only brought two jackets. He's worn it the right way, inside out. We're running out of ways to wear it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, Channel 27, we thank you. There's a great family here. It's the, uh, the television, ABC uh, station that helped bring in these rascals. Uh, you're doing good work. Thank you. Thank you, uh, They think uh, you've got gotten enough money and they'd like to uh, send you back. That's understandable. Money. All right. Make them feel at home. Sam Bob. <laughs> nice to see you. Sir. Well, thank you, sir. Who do you got here, sir? I have my lovely wife, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello. Curly-haired brother, Shetty. Hi, Shetty. Hi, Richard. My oldest son, Al. Hello. Good to see you. And junior son, Todd. Welcome. Hi, Richard. Good to have you here, Todd. Very nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Now, what do you do, sir? What's your job? I am vice principal at Tuva High School in Glendale, California. Are you really? Are they here? No one? <laughs> Nobody's here. Pretend They're you're... all here from our competition school, Crescenta Valley. Ah. <laughs> That's where my sons attend. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. All right, now, just for a second, pretend you're all students from his school. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> you knew the rivals were here, right? Good job. Yeah. That's very nice. I'm going to give you a, a B plus for that round of applause. You were very good. <laughs> now I'm going to give you a B because you didn't laugh. <laughs> uh, ready to play? Absolutely. Come, we'll play the few. <laughs> 100 people survey. Top six answers on the board. You got to try and get the most popular answer. Here is the question. Traditionally, when men fight, they punch each other in the nose. Name something women do when they fight. Tear hair out. They tear the hair out. Okay. We're gonna play. Okay. If you see a bald-headed woman anywhere, you know. She just has been in the ring. How you doing? Fine. Nice to have you here, my Thank love. Thank you. What do women do when they fight? They scratch. They do. They scratch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, right, Shadi? How are you? Fine. What would you think there, Shadi? I would say they'd hit each other with their purse. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the old Ruth Buzzy gag from laughing. <laughs> Boom. Purse time. How about kick? A kick. Oh, All right. Yeah. Yeah. The women yeah. kick. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Nothing worse than shaking hands. Really. <laughs> what do women do when they fight, huh? Uh, they bite, Richard. Do they? I hope they. <laughs> I hate it when they bite, Richard. <laughs> bite. <laughs> Yeah, you can just roll along here. One more answer, you got all the money. Chuck. 
they punch each other. Do they? Traditionally, like men. <laughs> <laughs> For all the money, punch! <laughs> no, not there. Men punch each other in the nose. What do women do when they fight? They, uh, spit. <laughs> Spit. <laughs> no. Oh, come on, right, come on, Shetty. Come on, Shetty. Shetty, you can do it. Well, I say they'll tear each other's clothes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Good answer. Right. Good answer. In that case, I'll buy two tickets ringside. <laughs> it was there you got it all, if not third strike. They tear each other's clothes. <laughs> no. Oh. Ninety-five dollars up there. Slap, slap, slap. Richard, we're, we're gonna go with slap. Slap. If it's there, you get the money, and if not, Chuck does. Slap. Six blades. You always like to be attacked by a good hard scream. <laughs> we'll be back right after that. Here's today's Family Feud survey question. Can you guess the top five answers? Stick around for the results right after this. It's gonna feel like the end of the world. Woo! You kill them, you owe me nothing. Let's play. Let's see who catches the bullet. You're me in 30 years. Sun's turning into your eyes. Stream free exclusive movies and more on Zumo Play. Today's survey question and the top five answers. How many did you get? Stay tuned for more feud right here on Buzzer. Let's play. 95, nothing. Let's go. I know, but now 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. After a big snowfall, name something from which people clear the snow. Driveway! Don't yell at me. <laughs> Driveway! Number one answer, Phil. Hey, 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 hey. Suddenly thought I lost my hearing. Get back there, I can't believe you. He was so polite at the dance last night. <laughs> Would you repeat the question? Yeah, of course I will, you. darling. I could barely hear it myself. You're yelling driveway in my ear. After a oh, big okay. snowfall, name something from which people clear the snow. Their roof. Yeah. Roof! Good well done. Well done, Don. Uh, why don't you two change jackets occasionally? Uh, I said we were going to, but... Never did, did you? No, he's got to grow a little. Is it? Yeah. I've asked for several days about uh, Mike's uh, love life. <laughs> He's always denied he had one. <laughs> the truth will out. The moment you get a big snowfall, you usually <laughs> hear the truth. Uh, if he doesn't want to tell me, I don't want to hear it from you. Okay. I. <laughs> In my ear. Got you. Say no more. I will not mention anything else. But Karen, are you doing anything? <laughs> are you doing anything this evening, Karen? 
You have very good taste, man. <laughs> After a big snowfall. Well, in Wisconsin, we clear it from the cars. You do? Yep. All right. The cars. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Got a lot of snow there? Yeah. Why don't you ask her yourself? <laughs> Just say to her, this is Karen. Karen Siderman, a young lady, works up here and writes down whatever words that we get that get strikes. Show a card, my darling. See, and Karen holds it up. Either family can see what's already been said. It seems young Michael has uh, fallen head over snowfall. Uh, and of course, Karen's a blushing. In search of older women. Uh, ask her, ask her. Well, just by a couple of years. Uh, ask her whatever you like. What would you like to ask her? Nothing. <laughs> Uh, we'll get back to you, honey. Okay. He's a bit shy. <sighs> Big snowfall. Uh, what a painful one. Sidewalk. <laughs> Nothing ever bothers you, does it? Never blush? Not much. <laughs> you don't. You're as cool as cucumber. Sidewalk! Yeah! <laughs> Take it over, mull it over. You're a wealthy man now. <laughs> Never share the money alone. You can get a condo here. <laughs> Come to the shows here every day. <laughs> uh, just discussing the uh, uh, tourist attractions in Southern California. Uh, after the big uh, snowfall, something uh, which people clear snow. Well, in Madison, we've got these crews that clear all that snow from the streets. Yeah, yes. oh. good answer. Good answer. Sounds like a good job. Streets! Yeah! Oh, man. Hmm. Come in. Mike and I have got a couple things to talk about, so uh, you watch this commercial, and uh, we'll uh, be back momentarily. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is Michael. Shake hands. Pretty. Pretty. I put it set in that thing. Oh, get out of here. My name is my brand. My store, my design business, we're exploding. In a good way. But my old internet was not letting me run the show. It needed a total redo. Ooh. So we switched to Verizon Business Internet. Easy. They have business grade internet nationwide. Fast, reliable, and easy to set up. Boom. Instant makeover. Now this room, it's really working. Make the switch. It's your business. It's your Verizon. What a game, 91, 95, let's go! <laughs> 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here is the question, real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. You'll be third. Uh -huh. yeah. Willie Loman? Willie Loman, death of a salesman. 
No. That was a goodie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> Willie! <laughs> Willie the... <laughs> Hold it! No. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Jeff! Uh, how about Willie Shoemaker? Ah, oh, the great jockey, Willie Shoemaker. Okay. Now, well, two answers, we'll beat it. Willy Wonka. Oh! All right. Willy Wonka! Yeah, it's there, but you have control. What are you, hey, hey. <laughs> you going to do? Wait, wait, let's play. All right, I guess we're, we're going to play. play. Remember, though, Willy the Pooh's been taken. <laughs> All right. Off we go, back there. Oh. <laughs> Well, let's get serious. <laughs> Real or fictional? A famous Karen, uh, Willie. Willie Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> you probably knew him very well. <laughs> hey, Willie, what's shaking, baby? <laughs> William Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Shakespeare. <laughs> to be or not to be, that's what we gotta lay down here. Ugh. What would you say, real or fictional, famous Willie? We'll switch gears a little. We'll say Willie Mays. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bam, Willie Mays. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way to do it, bro. Big Phil. Willie Sutton. Willie uh -huh. Sutton. One of the great guys had on my account for years. <laughs> well, he's something. <laughs> not that. First time he's not been on a list for quite a while. Uh, it down. Oh. Real or fictional? Famous Willie. Oh. Say, Schmidt. can you say? Uh, I don't know. Willie Schmidt. Willie I don't Schmidt. know. <laughs> certainly didn't bring you in from Madison, but that kind of language, I can assure you. Uh. Willie. Schmidt, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Not that. One, two, three answers. Like the money, give me one. Look at this, there's a All silent right. film returning. <laughs> well? Uh, how about uh, Willie Rogers? <laughs> Willie Rogers. I will demand to see ID before I go on with this game. Will <laughs> Willie Rogers is there. You get the money, and if not, you will. Willie Rogers. No. <laughs> no one. Yeah. Really yeah. On the road again. Four. Willie. Oh, five. Way Willie Winky. Well, strangely enough, a lot of people don't know was engaged to Willie the Pooh. <laughs> 138.95, let's go! <laughs> 100 people surveyed, top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a country known for really spicy food. Yeah, Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Hey. You're gonna play, Richard. Gonna play. Well done, young man. Very proud of you. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Country known for really spicy food. Italy. Good. Oh. Hey, Italia. <laughs> Phil Junior, what would you say, sir? Well, I like Euro sandwiches, so I'll say Greece. Okay. Grace! <laughs> no. I'm worried about him. Uh, kin to Mexico, how about Spain? Uh huh. Okay. Barcelona, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I'm on a real 
role here with Willie Smith. Um, you have played this Will game. <laughs> this is about your sixth day. You've played extremely well. You're allowed to have a, to a, a <laughs> Willie Smith occasion. <laughs> All right. Um, would uh, France? Just take a look. Let's take a look. Sure. Well, if it's there, you keep it dialing. And if not, seconds dry. France? <laughs> no. Jeff? Portugal. Okay. It's better to say no country at all. True. I guess so. Not a lot. Better. <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> Portugal. <laughs> no. 194. The game will continue if you give me the correct answer. Chinese. Chinese. Country known for really spicy food. We're going with Chinese. China. Oh, wrong. Oh, right, China. China's uh, there. up there. You get the 194. If not, you'll play for the big money. China, is there anyone finer? I'll tell you what, I got a great plan. I'm yes, going to give you $250 Thank and you. get nice prizes. <laughs> and you leave the country the day of the show, otherwise, you'll never live down <laughs> Willie. <Willy. laughs> Thank, like Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry you didn't win this. That's a funny one. Nice to see you. Take care, Jim. Go play. Go. The old same old show. Jeff and Bill, going for the money right after we watch this. language coming up next it's all about the motion baby hey would you and your family like to have a good time why don't you try to become a contestant on our show send a postcard to contestants family feud 6430 sunset boulevard that's in hollywood california that's 90028 so write to us won't you thank you uh, good luck thank you 15 seconds play Name the crime you think most people are arrested for. Uh, speeding. How many good dresses a woman owns? Uh, two. A department in supermarkets? Uh, clothes. A popular color for uniforms? Green. A fruit that bruises easily? Apple. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> crime you think most people are arrested for? Speeding. I was on the... Ten most wanted list at one time. <laughs> Seven. Sixteen. How many good dresses a woman owns? Two. Survey said. There it is. Part of the supermarkets. Clothes. I get most of my stuff there. That's why I'm called speeding. I don't want anyone to see me do it. Survey said. Pop your color for uniforms. Green. Survey said. Eleven. Fruit that bruises easily. Apple, survey said six. First time you've not gone over 100. I say it's about time you let uh, Phil Jr. do the work. And here he is. Phil, this time you've got to get over 100 right now. Please right. remind everyone the answers Jeff gave us. When you've stopped laughing, give us 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name the crime you think most people are arrested for. Drunk driving. How many good dresses a woman owns? Four. A department in supermarkets. Bakery. A popular color for uniforms. Blue. A fruit that bruises easily. Banana. Turn around. Yeah. Crime most people are arrested for? You said what? Drunk driving? Mm -hmm. Everybody said. 31. Oh. 
Number one uh, answer was shoplifting or burglary. Hmm. Of course, you're an attorney, you wouldn't know that. How many good dresses a woman owns? Two number one answers, you said four. Survey said? Apartment in supermarket. You said bakery. Survey said? There are fruit and vegetables tied for the top. Popular color of uniforms. You gave me blue, blue and white. They were tied. Survey said? Body care. Fruit that bruises easily a Georgia peach. Number one. You said banana. Survey said? No. Oh. 182. Five love. There's another nine. Oh, that's Hi, can I help you? Maybe. I need a pair for a wedding, one for running, one for glamping, one for brunching, boating and tanning, and then one pair for my brother that I can steal later. Yeah, let me show you some I'd more. like to look at Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Burberry, Ray-Ban, Purcell, Oakley, Costa, Michael Kors, Coach, and Ralph Lauren. What colors? Sunglass hat. Find every shade of you. You remembered her favorite binky, right? I forgot the binky. Our top story. A father has forgotten the binky, but he's capturing hearts. He got the binky! Binky. She only likes the blue one. Kia. Movement that inspires. See you here on The View. Bye-bye. Some departing contestants receive from Ansco. Simple picture taking in the disc format with glass F2.8 lens, motorized film advance, electronic flash from Ansco. A master mechanic, 10-gallon shop back from two value hardware stores who combine value and personal service at over 5,000 locations nationwide. The electric food dehydrator and yogurt make a by Ronco. Dried fruits, vegetables, and meats without additives or preservatives by Ronco. Pilot pens that raise the point with the extra fine point and the fine liner that even writes through carbons more than just something to write with. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson television production.
It's a game for the uninhibited. And our stars this week from the Cosby Show, Lisa Bonet, and from It's Your Move, 